Hello, my name is Kelly Shade and today I'm going to be practicing sculpting. Now I've got some tools here that I'd like to, like, that I'm going to be using and they are, basically you can use anything to sculpt with. I hope you can see it, but I've got some, a few things here. And I've got this head for, to place the clay on. I've also, I've got the clay here and I'm going to be using that. Anyways. I'm going to start sculpting now, and, um, sorry about the view on, like, the angle of this camera, but I had, like, I couldn't find a good place for it, so I just put a bunch of containers together, and, like, this is the stand I'm going to be using for sculpting, so I hope, I hope you can see well, and, anyways, I'm going to get sculpting now, so. So the clay I'm using is a natural clay, so it's, and it's very soft from the beginning, so I'd like to grab a handful of it, put some of it here, and I'm going to go sculpt something. I don't know what I'm going to be sculpting, but whatever it is, <laughs> hope you guys like it. And I cut my head off. One moment, I'm going to see if I can find something to... S Hopefully th the camera doesn't fall. And... Is that a little better? Maybe. Okay, you still can't see. Anyways, I'm just going to go start sculpting because there's no use in just fooling around with the camera at the moment so let's begin okay This one I'm going to be sculpting a raven mask that just comes under nose and like around here, S underneath the cheekbones too. So first of all I'm going to roll this out into a clay log and place my pieces here and here. And I do the same with the other side. Sorry about the mess in my room. I've got a lot of stuff. And I'll do the same here. For the top. I am going to roll a couple of logs. And put them a little extra piece here and what I'm going to do is going to uh, I'm going to smush as much of the clay as I can, like, so, as far as I can, up the face. So I don't use a lot of clay, but... Just going to smooth that out. I'm going to be making a, a couple of logs and putting it around the eyes, the eye holes in the mask, and I'm just going to, yeah, just put one here, I'm going to need some more clay for this, yeah, grab a, as much of, cl as much clay as you can, and I'm 
and go for whatever you look. Clay is a very interesting thing. It's you can make a lot of different things with pottery, masks, a whole lot of stuff. For me, I'm for me, I'm practicing making masks. However, I'd, like at the moment, I'm still practicing sculpting, so it's going to be a while until I get to the point where I can actually do stuff, ma make masks like that. So I'm just going to do a practice run for here. Okay, I'm, I'm smoothing the clay out as like, much as I can so it's like nice and, s and smooth. Um, and then after that I'm going to be putting it like patterns, designs. For this one, like this is a raven one, so I have to do <coughs> feathers. Sorry about the cough. I'm still getting over a cold. Anyways... Um, one side's a bit thick.
Okay, grab some more clay for the tip of the beak. you hear noise in the background sorry about that that's my family downstairs watching TV so uh, sorry if you hear that anyways do you think the nose is a bit big So I've got the beginning of uh, it. I'm going to be doing some adjustments here and there, and I think maybe. <clears throat> So now I'm going to be sculpting the feathers of the raven and but first I'm going to be putting some more clay on the middle part of the nose, like the top part of the, up to the nose, we'll just thickening that part up a bit because raven, ravens have this feathery area on their nose. So I just want to make that ridge a part of it. Okay, there, now let's start the sculpting. I'm going to be using, um, it kind of looks like a dental tool, but it's not. It's a sculpting tool that I got uh, at a store in Thunder Bay. No, not. Well, anyways, this is what it looks like. It's, it's very sharp. Anyways, I'm going to start by, I'm going to start with the fur on the head. I'm not on the beak part. Just going to give it a layer look. And
continue looking the nose, paws, and the beak. Just doing a bit more. sculpt out the feathers which is going to be very difficult because I don't do much of that so I'm going to use another tool to work it out so I have this one it's a double like edged tool um, one side is more square and the other side is like more rounded so I'm going to use the rounded edge to sculpt out the feathers on the side of of the side piece of the of the mask and I'll like I'm going to carefully cut out small dents so and then I'm going to go in with the dental like look tool to detail them and Okay, you can, another thing you can use of the tools is if there's some clay on the tools, you can clean it out by using the other tool on it. So that's a good way of cleaning out Oops, there goes the use of clay. <laughs>
I made a similar mask like this before, but at the moment I, I would show I would have shown you it, but at the moment it's kind of gone missing. So sorry about like about that. If I had it, I would have shown you, but it's not here at the moment. Maybe I'll show you a picture of it when I find it. However, like that one would be is kind of chipped and old, so yeah. Okay, so I got that done, so now I'm going to go in with the the dental-like tool again, um, to, actually, you know what I'm going to use, uh, you can also use a paintbrush if you wanted to. This one is kind of, the tip is stiff, so I'm going to use that to detail it so I'm just going to go through the dents and make a line in them and then I'm going to come back again and do some more detailing on that If you don't have any special special tools, you can use anything around the house, like a nail, a screw nail, or like a piece of twig, or even a toothbrush, like to get certain patterns, and yeah, or like a paintbrush, like you know, just tools around the house, anything will do, as long as it's washable. You don't want clay stuck sticking to something that you cannot wash. Okay, and I'm going to go back around and do some other lines, so... Anyways, I have to speed scope it now because it's time for me to go, um, get dressed and go to work. So I'm going to just speed sculpt this and, yeah, it may not look that pretty, but you know, it's just the beginning. Anyways, again, sorry about the noise, but that's my family. Anyways, if you hear it in the background. So I've got to go to work, so I'm going to just speed sculpt it for the finishing touches. The 
this one's slightly a little rougher than my first one, and but you know. I'm starving. Sorry, that was my father in the background. He just woke up from a nap, his nap, if you heard him. He's pretending to be a zombie. Again, sorry about the noise in the background. Okay. He was like, I'm kidding, I'm not hugging her Jack Cassidy. I have a noisy house, so. <laughs> Anyways, I am finished. So let's. I'm going to take a close up look at this. Is this Stephanie's? Uh, sorry about that. That was my mother handing my sister's underwear. <laughs> Ignore that. And this is it, my mask. Slightly rough. See, so, yeah, like, there's a little ruffles at the front. There's the beak from the side. And the other side. And that's it. That's my raven mask. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.